from the sun. And it's about uh, 4 billion, 468 million, 800,000 kilometers from the sun. So you can imagine why it is so cold. And it has two satellites. It has a diameter of 45,000 kilometers. Pluto. Pluto may not be seen as a real planet. Remember when we introduced the solar system and the Earth, we talked about the argument in the early 1990s amongst the astronomers, which was finally concluded sometime in 2006 that Pluto was not or is not actually a real planet. Pluto is the coldest and farthest object from the sun that orbits it. And it takes about 247,000 years, sorry, 247.7 years to complete its orbit. And Pluto is about 5 billion 850 million kilometers from the sun. And Pluto has no satellites and a diameter and has a diameter of 5,800 kilometers. Now, the shape of the Earth. The Earth is spherical in shape and slightly flattened at the poles, the north and the southern poles. And the shape of the earth is better described as a joint. Now, let's consider the size of the earth. The earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. And of course, as we talked earlier, Jupiter is the largest. And important dimensions of the earth are as follows. We have the equatorial circumference, which is 40,000, about 40,000 kilometers. We have equatorial diameter, which is 12,762 kilometers. We have polar circumference, which is 37, 39,955 kilometers. Now, the polar diameter. It's about 12,723 kilometers. Now, this is if how the, the shape of the Earth looks like. Up here, we have the North Pole. And down here is the South Pole. This is the equatorial diameter. And by the side here, from the north to the south pole, we have the polar distance, which is about 12,714 kilometers. Now, we'll talk about the Earth's movement. The Earth moves in space in two ways. One is the rotation, and two is revolution. Now let's consider the rotation of the Earth and the effects of the Earth rotation. The rotation of the Earth is the movement of the Earth around the Sun on its axis. The Earth moves or rotates on its axis from west to east. And it takes 24 hours for the Earth to make a complete rotation. And the Earth rotation causes day and night. And Earth rotates to 15 degrees in one hour, or one degree in four minutes. Now, let's look at the effects of the Earth rotation. I earlier stated that the Earth rotation causes day and night. 
Now, while the earth rotates on its axis, only the part of the earth facing the sun during this rotation will experience light. And that's when we say day. And the other part of the earth that is away from the sun will experience darkness. And that's night. So, this rotation of the earth around the axis gives rise to what we know as day and night. Another effect of earth rotation is apparent sunrise and sunset. Now, as the earth rotates, part of the earth moves from darkness, gradually approaching the rays of the sun. And when this happens, that part of the earth experiences what we call sunrise. And while the other part that is moving away from the rays of the sun will experience sunset. Now, the rotation of the earth also causes or brings about difference in time, in time from place to place. That's why we have Nigeria being one hour ahead of a place like Ghana, Accra, Accra, Ghana, or London, because of the rotation of the earth. This is so because Nigeria, the location of Nigeria, is such that we are one hour ahead of the Greenwich Meridian. It also leads to rise and fall of tides. As the air rotates, it results in the rising and falling of sea water level. Another effect of the air rotation is dawn and twilight. Now, that brief period between sunrise and full daylight is what we call a dawn. And while that brief period between sunset and total darkness is twilight. And these two things come about as a result of the effect of the rotation of the earth. Now let's look at revolution of the earth. Revolution of the earth is a movement of the earth round the sun on its orbit. It takes 365 and one quarter days to make a complete revolution. Now, revolution of the earth causes four seasons in a year. And as the earth revolves, it brings about four seasons in a year. Now, the one quarter days which is also about six hours, is added up every four years to make what is known as the leap year, which has 366 days, while the normal year has 365 days. Now, just like the rotation of the Earth, revolution of the Earth also has some effects and we'll be considering shortly this effect. One, we have determination of a year. It takes 365 and one quarter days for the earth to make a complete revolution. And when this happens, we see that one year has been completed. Another effect is the varying length of day and night. At times people sleep and wake up and say the night was so long or the day was so long. It's as a result of the revolution of the earth. And this is due to the position of the earth in relation to the sun. Re revolution of the earth also causes seasons. 
we talked about that earlier, such as the dry and rainy seasons in the tropics, winter, spring, autumn, and summer in the temperate areas. Revolution of the earth also brings about changes in altitude of midday sun. Now, this results in equinoxes and solstice. When we're talking about equinoxes and solstices, we are talking about uh, a time where we have equal day and night. And on the other hand, we're talking about a time where they, they vary. We will talk more on these two concepts as we progress. As another effect, we have changes in seasonal temperature. That is why there are times or periods in the year where the temperature is so high that we feel heat everywhere and at times where the temperature is low, cold everywhere. And in the summer, it is warm and bright, while in the winter, it is cold and dark. Now, let's consider this, the equinoxes and solstices we mentioned earlier in details. Equinox. Equinox occurs when the midday sun is directly overhead the equator. Now, this, this diagram or illustration shows us the parallel of latitudes that we have on the earth. Now, the equator is that parallel line with zero degree latitude, as you can see represented here. During equinox, uh, we have equal day and equal night. And it occurs usually on March 21st. 